how you answer this one question really will make all the difference. I'm gonna give you one of the most important tips when it comes to succeeding, and not just on YouTube, but anywhere. This is important for succeeding at a job. This is important for succeeding in your family. This is important for succeeding in your personal life, your hobbies, just whatever it is. This one tip is gonna be applicable to all of these things and so much more, really. Are you ready for it? Because this is important. Uh, it's only two words, write it down. <laughs> Here's the tip, be committed. Be committed. And it just makes sense, right? You're not gonna succeed at things unless you're committed to that thing. If you got a job, you gotta show up. <laughs> I mean, that's like bare minimum, right? If you got a family, the way that you're gonna raise a good family and be a good father or mother is to be committed. If you're not committed, you're not gonna succeed. You're not gonna do well. You gotta be committed. So this one question is really gonna make all the difference. Are you committed to making money on YouTube? Or are you committed to being successful in your personal life or in your business life? You gotta be committed. Now for YouTube, that simply means being committed to the process, being committed to grow, being committed to making each video just a little bit better than the last one. But it really just comes down to that one question. Are you committed? Let me show you some numbers. I'm gonna show you my wife's YouTube channel because really this is a great example of what I'm talking about today. All right, here is her channel over the last 28 days. And I, would, I, I just want you to look at this and see how being committed really makes all the difference. You can see here the days that she uploads are the days that she gets the most views. And it just makes sense, right? I mean, you gotta be committed. And throughout the month, you can see how commitment makes all the difference. So at first, obviously, she gets more views on the days that she uploads. But not only is she committed to upload, we're also committed to making the videos better. Um, I've been editing her YouTube videos for her, so I make sure that every time I upload, I make the videos just a little bit better. It doesn't have to be a lot. The most important thing is just to be committed to the process of making them better. So by the end of the month, you can see that her uploads are getting significantly more views because both of us were committed to making the videos better. Over a year ago, she asked me about my other YouTube channel when I knew that I had given it enough effort to see whether it was gonna succeed or fail. And it was a hard question for me to answer because, because I was committed to seeing it succeed. And I knew that if it seemed like it was failing, it just meant that I needed to pivot so that I'm trying new things so that I can see if those things work. I, I guess what I'm saying is I was absolutely committed to seeing it succeed. Failure just wasn't an option. Obviously, this isn't for everybody. You need to decide for yourself how committed you are. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Or are you willing to go so far and no further? It, it's not a bad idea to decide that now rather than a year from now. Because if the answer is you're willing to do whatever it takes, that means being committed to the process, being committed even when things aren't looking great, continuing to upload, continuing to improve. Listen, I know it's possible because I see it not only on her channel, but on my primary vlog. Let me show you those numbers too. So this is the last 28 days of my primary vlog. I started it about a year and a half ago, and in the last 28 days, uh, it's made $1,700. That's pretty stinking good. <laughs> but once again, you can see on the days that I upload are the days that it gets the most views. I'm just saying this, be committed to the process. Be committed to whatever it is that you wanna succeed at. If you're not committed, you're not gonna succeed. But if you are committed, then you'll do whatever it takes so that you do succeed. Just one more thing about that. Right now, it is past midnight tonight, and uh, I need to get up at eight in the morning, but the thing is, I didn't make a video yet for this channel, and I am absolutely committed to making a video for this channel every Tuesday. I don't completely get it, but there's a lot of YouTubers now who are saying that it's not important to keep an upload schedule, and I see why they say it. Quality is definitely more important than quantity when it comes to YouTube. However, I also see the downside of not sticking to a schedule. Um, I've seen so many YouTubers just stop uploading altogether. They tell themselves quality is more important, and that's true, but not keeping a schedule means that they're not continually thinking about that next upload. Having a schedule forces me to think about my next upload, and it, and it forces me to make the video, to make this video. <laughs> All I'm saying is this, you gotta be committed. Listen, I'm just an average guy. I don't have the YouTube secret sauce I'm not better than the next guy. I'm just average, really. But the average person, in all honesty, is committed to something. So, so the question is, will you be committed to this thing? Whatever it is that you want to succeed at, are you going to be committed to it? How you answer this one question really will make all the difference. So, be committed. Listen, if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> I'm just an average guy.